What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And I got my little princess here with me, my very sunscreened, protected princess. And uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> what I say? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's enough. We're down here in Melbourne Beach, Florida. Got the oil stop. <laughs> we, got, we got the uh, van, the Texas van right behind us. Uh, and last year I brought you on our little trip down here where I went on vacation with the family, beach house, and uh, I bought a car. And in the garage here, you can see a car that I did buy, but I didn't buy for this trip. Daddy, you got sunscreen out. I bet I do. <laughs> and we're going to be dragging it home uh, tomorrow. Well, actually, by the time you see this video, it is going to be tomorrow. This is my 2004 Cadillac DeVille DHS convertible. Can that we go inside? no, we can't go inside. That I bought last November, and I think I did a video with Big Al uh, from B Big Al's Bike and Auto. Uh, he picked this car up for me. This car was a burn car. It's a custom convertible, and we replaced his seat bottom. We got the car started after some wiring issues, uh, but it's been sitting down at Al's since. And you can see the top is starting to get a little moldy. I, I really want to get it back and get this top clean because this car was garage its entire life up until recently. Uh, it's a 37,000 mile DHS Coach Builders convertible. Loaded it up with a bunch of wheels and tires, forgive me, that I bought at uh, Pick Apart when we were down there. Got my U-Haul car dolly all set and ready. And we're going to be pulling it behind the big blue van now this van will be for sale in a couple weeks uh this is the this is the van that my dad and i went down to texas for uh and i don't think i showed you hold on honey i don't think i showed you what we've done to it uh but we sorted it out put all the seats back where they're supposed to be no 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 we're not getting inside get sunscreen all over you the portable toilet uh, we got the seats all installed correctly uh, the lift has been removed We're just waiting for a few last-minute things like that Sun blind or shade over there but I think she's sitting right about 35 ish thousand miles 36 37 we're gonna replace all these uh, but it's a 2009 Chevy Express 1500 I also got new chrome wheels to put on it 20 inch chrome wheels Chevy Express 1500 high top explore conversion. You can see beautiful house, beautiful pool. Want to go show them the beach? Yeah. Let's go this way, honey. Last time when I was here on vacation, I bought some cars while I was away. Uh, this time I didn't technically buy cars while I was away. I was very good as to not even be on my phone. I set my away messages and did what I had to do to seclude myself. Come on, babe. And, uh, but well, there's Papa Bear conducting business. No, let's show him the beach. And, and that's our game. We've been playing that. Come on, babe. Come on. This has been our view all week in this beautiful home. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. So like I said um, just a few minutes ago, Noel, um, I bought some cars while I, just before we went on vacation, and both of them got delivered while I was down here on vacation. And we're gonna road trip back. We're gonna go back and see them, check them out. They're both phenomenal, phenomenal cars. Uh, one's a Cadillac, one's a Lincoln. Papa Bear actually saw the Lincoln because he flew down here. But we're going to go take a look at it and see what those cars are all about once we get back in a few days. And it's time to leave Paradise. Cadillac in tow. She's ready to go. Don't know how those tires are going to do on the way back, but they're older Michelins anyways. DeVille, 
clamped and strapped. Van tapped and strapped. It's time to leave paradise. And just like that, we're back to reality. It's cold. I'm still wearing shorts. Why? Because I literally drove straight back from Florida. We left the house in Melbourne Beach at 9.30 in the morning, and I drove back all the way straight home last night. We got home about 7.30 this morning. You can see the van is here. The DeVille convertible is tagging right along with us. There was a point last night where I wasn't even... I forgot that this was behind me i was just bombing all the way back to get all of us back but it survived uh no issues um i don't know how it did with the rain we hit torrential torrential rain on the way back um, so i don't know if this <laughs> the leaks water or anything we'll find out i guess i gotta get it off the trailer the van's back here uh go inside and take a look at the Lincoln that was delivered this car oh hello 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 this car was delivered the Friday that I left so a week ago on well today's Sunday this car was delivered two Fridays ago and I had just left with the family heading to Florida in the van and the transporter was supposed to be here Thursday night at 5 o'clock. Shows up at noontime uh, with this car. So, let's take a look. Papa Bear ended up meeting the guy up here and bringing it in. This is a nice, nice looking car. I don't know what that was. It just came out of here. Oh, a little bushing here. I'm going to replace those. Oh, yeah. Got the... Box of Kleenex. Look at this thing, huh? Nice. This is a one owner 1995 Lincoln Town car. Cartier. Cartier. Heated seats. It does not have a sunroof, unfortunately. Uh, mileage 69, I think. 69,000. Just roll over. Ooh, that button still works. That's a rarity. Thanks for reminding me, by the way. Do not because... Got the old lady breath mints. Cigarette lighter, never been used. A little dirty in there. Ooh, it's got the Lincoln phone. <laughs> yeah. Phone. That's cool. This was her husband's car. It was a one owner car. Spare key. The wheel looking key. Let's see here. New Lincoln Town car. Cartier. And get the wheel on with the books. Oh, yeah. Let's go see what we got here. All right. Looks like we've got an original receipt. For, oh no, this is a re registration. That was her husband's business. Got the original owner's manual here. Let's see. Tennessee Department of Safety. Safety inspection of 96. 930, electric carbon copy. Roadside assistance. There we go. Odometer disclosure. 95, the car had 5,000 miles. I thought he said he bought this new. That's weird. Oh, let's see here. Hugh Brooks Industries. Hmm. Interesting. What is this here? Maybe he leased it new? I don't know. 95, town car. This is the pink version of that same piece. Freight, luxury tax. To buy it now, thirty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, September twenty-second, nineteen ninety-five. Hmm. Maybe um, he had to buy out the lease or something. 
I don't know. I'll have to look more into this. What is this? The Lincoln Commitment. Pre-delivery inspection. I love seeing people look like this. Warranty. Service menu. Let's see. Authorization card. Telephone. Let's see. Do we got a window sticker in here? Nope. No window sticker. Bummers. But that's okay. Oh, that's cool. It's still got the home link sticker that nobody has peeled off. Needs washer fluid. It's right in the gear. It's got the little phone thing there. Let's see what's inside the trunk. Ah, look at these wheels are in beautiful shape. These Michelin tires are from 14. Super, super chunky, but you know me and black walls. But look at how clean that frame is. Real clean. It's got the Cartier mat. Uh, this is the antenna for the back there. Full size spare. On a Lincoln wheel, very nice. Has been on the ground before. Like to see that stuff. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at the body is straight as an arrow in this car. Forgive my shop for being a mess in the background. When I left Friday or Thursday night, I was still jamming the seats back together in that van. And I just tossed everything to the side. I didn't want to be here all day. And it was like 11 o'clock by the time I left. And I had to drive all the way to Florida the next day. 95 is great because it doesn't have the... It's not susceptible to the intake issue that these cars had. Uh, so that's good. Trans service at 45,000 miles. Has the recall done for the... Um, uh, cruise control, but this is this is a clean, clean car. Rusty Wallace, Lincoln Mercury. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, well, I'm excited there. That's great to see. That car is gonna look real, real nice. Actually, once I get some white walls, I think that car is just gonna pop. It's funny what just wheels or tires will do to change the look of a car, and that one especially, I think, is gonna look great. And even my van, I had bought it. It has these 18-inch American racing wheels that I had later found out somebody painted silver, and you can see kind of how crudely done they were. Maybe they were corroded or something. So I ended up purchasing, and we'll be installing. These beautiful, beautiful chrome 20 inch Chevy wheels. I'm gonna put new tires on it. Um, but look how nice these things are. These are GM accessory wheels. I got all four of them, the other one's over there, but beautiful set of wheels. Uh, that is gonna wake this van up completely. It's gonna give it a, a nice look to it. Um, these wheels, I think, actually detract from the look of the van. Uh, I drove it down on these wheels and tires because, you know, these Leo the Lion tires here, Leo the Lion Sport tires, um, are good enough, but I didn't want to put new tires and put those wheels on it just to put miles on it when these were good enough. If it needed tires, I'd put them on, but I figured I might as well wear these tires out because I'm going to take them off. You know, I've put 7,000 miles on this van. Uh, anyways, I'm all over the place. Let me get this thing off because any minute now I have a truck coming. That's one of the reasons I had to run up here and get home. I have a truck coming delivering another car that I told you about. And I'm super excited. This car came all the way from Vancouver, Washington. Oh, hello. It's here. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> Special delivery today. 1992 Cadillac Rome, the elegance came out of somewhat rainy uh, Vancouver, Washington to a also somewhat rainy Holland, New Hampshire. Enclosed the whole way. Such a long trip. I had to enclose ship this one. Let's take a look at this beauty as she comes off the truck. Woo! Get that 5.7 liter fire up.
Oh my goodness. Hello, hello. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice car. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that thing, huh? This is a cool setup though. These trucks, you never know that there were cars inside there with that back that swings open like that. I think they drive straight through to get to the first truck, but it's kind of turns in the middle. Oh yeah, let's go look. What am I talking about trucks for? Let's go look. Oh baby, 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 baby. Look at this fine, fine specimen. 1992 Cadillac Brome DLX. You can just tell by my attitude right now. I'm not upset from being back from vacation. Literally got home from a beautiful vacation a few hours ago to come home to this and that Lincoln inside. This, you're coming out. This is going in. But oh my God, just delivered from Vancouver, Washington. A gorgeous 92 Brome D elegance, uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, car. I, I'm you can tell I don't get tired of doing this or saying stuff like, Hey, check this Brome out. Look at the beautiful original filler panels, Pacific Northwest car, its entire life, which just means it's absolutely stunning. Yep, above, below, around. Beautiful blue leather, fresh blue headliner. Does have the factory um, floor mats in the trunk. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful blue tufted leather. Let's find the wheel here. 59,700. 66 miles auto dimming rear view i do have the window sticker and everything for this car uh that was mailed to me got the key there for the oh, might as well take it for a spin i guess right oh yeah getting behind the wheel of these cars they, they're all different they never they never bore me, really, they don't. I, I just love these bromes. Oh yeah. It's got new shocks, new brakes, um, fuel pump, all types of stuff. Tons of recent service work. Already done. So this is really a turnkey car. Oh, she cruises so nicely. So nicely. Oh, yeah, baby. Hello. The water beating right off that rail window. Look at it beating off the car. Whoa, baby. Hello. Coming through. Cadillac Brome. I feel like I should be singing the, the hit, the jingle. Some people want more. Not just a little bit. This is your life and you're the only one who's living it. Let's go. Let's live, let's love every mile. The only way to travel is Cadillac style. Absolutely, absolutely thrilled here. So, had a great vacation week with the family. My mother, my father, my wife, my nephew, everybody came down. Uh, that is my treat to my family. And that treat is only because the hard work that I do at the shop here uh, of, of getting these cars doing what I do to them. It was exciting. It was a little stressful of a vacation with the van. We kind of waited till the last minute to get all those seats together. A few more things that I have to do to the van. Cosmetic little things like put the wheels and tires on. Uh, I'm going to service it again. Do a few touch-ups here and there. Um, I have to put all the new emblems and stuff on it. So that van will be for sale um, in the next couple weeks. Uh, it's a 2009. It's got 37,000 miles high top explorer conversion van 
Um, the Lincoln Town car just came in. That was a beautiful one owner car right out of Tennessee. Um, that is a gorgeous example with 69,000 miles. Gonna have to put tires on that. Probably go through that as well, but looks like it's pretty, pretty much ready to go. If you're questioning now that I'm back, what's gonna be available like next? Next up, let me give you a quick sneak peek. This week, the next few cars that are gonna be available are is gonna be this Cadillac Eldorado hard boot coach build convertible. It's a 29,000 mile car. Speaking about coach build convertibles, 29,000 mile car, bronze with a brown top, all serviced. Then there's blue 92. Brome D. Elegant. I got that a couple weeks ago. It's a 92, 50,000 mile, 5.7 car. You're gonna see that for sale. Uh, so Eldorado, blue Brome. I have a silver 2005 Buick LaCrosse CXL with 36,000 mile, one owner car. That's gonna be for sale. 2011 or a 12 Cadillac CTS Coupe, red, tan leather with 24,000 miles, all wheel drive. That's just finishing up getting serviced those four real quick this white brome i gotta bask at it and look at it and a little bit more and how gorgeous she is oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i love the white lower cladding on these cars nice chunky tires obviously now it's going to start to pour out the elegance, woo, baby! Van, Brome, I got cars. I got cars absolutely everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go at this point. Uh, that's the trip, had a great time. Blessed to come home to stuff like this, town car, you can tell I'm excited. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Keep an eye out this week for uh, new cars coming up. Like I told you, I got that little list going on. I'm gonna get right on it, we're gonna hit the ground running and get cars ready. Uh, this week. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.